Draw So Cuties, Whitney here. Today we're going to draw Christmas My Melody. So let's get started. To draw this cute Christmas rabbit, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big oval. I'm going to curve and come down and connect. And I have that oval in. I'm going to go across nice and wide. So say about right here and draw another oval. So my two ovals in, I'm going to come to the top right here and just add a highlight. So I'm going to put in a circle and shade everything else in. I just want to add some sparkle to the eyes. But if you don't like it, you can definitely just shade it all in. And same thing over here. There. So now that we have her eyes in, let's come in between the eyes in the center, about right here, and we're going to draw a small little oval for the nose. And then after that, let's go ahead and draw the mouth right underneath. So we're just going to draw this sweet little curve and cap it off. There. And so then from there, let's go ahead and frame the face, which is basically a big oval. So I'm going to come, say, to the center of my eye, come out, not too far, just say about right here. And same thing over here, approximately just like the other side. And we're going to start to draw this big curve over the eye and here. So play around with it, see how, which way is the easiest for you to draw your curves. So I'm going to come over here, and it's not very tall, so it's a very narrow oval. So about right here, I'm going to create this curve and bring it all the way down to here. So I just want to create an opening so it's not too tall. And bring it back down to here and finish it off. So uh, let's bring it down. So definitely turn your body or the paper, whichever way helps you to create this big oval. I'm sorry for my sketchy lines. I just want to make sure I'm drawing this correctly. Because I am drawing pretty big before I come in here and make everything a little bit more solid. Okay, so now that we've created this big oval around the face, let's go ahead and draw a bunch of curves to start um, the ears, um, ears. So let's come about right here. So same thing on the other side. I'm going to come across so we know kind of where we're going to end on the other side. And I'm just going to go up. So this is the little white part. And I'm just going to start to draw a bunch of curves going all the way around. So it's a little bit narrower here. And as we come to the top, the curves can become bigger if you like. But we're just going to go all the way around. And so let's keep going. And as we go around, we just want to keep in mind that we're just going all the way following your curve. So about right here, we're going to start to come down. And as we come down, we're going to start to taper it in. So it's going to get narrow about right here and then in there. So you can always come back and fix anything that needs to be fixed. So like this side maybe looks like a little bit not as full of the full as the other side you can always just come back in here and change it there okay so then from there we're going to imagine the head part so let's say I'm just gonna give myself a right here point and I'm just gonna draw a curve coming down so this is kind of like where the ears are going to start so same thing over here 
you kind of like where the top is. So the reason this part is short is because I know there's um, some holly berries we need to draw over there. So I'm just kind of giving myself an idea where the ears are going to be. So let's say about right here, we need to draw this big curve for the ear that folds down. So we want it kind of like in the center area. So I'm going to say about right here, I'm going to start. And I'm just going to start this curve that comes down really close to this white part. And we're going to curve up to create that ear. And then about right here, we're going to round it off and bring it back down to about right there. So I think this is like the trickiest part for this drawing, just to create this ear that folds over. Then from there, once again, kind of like in the center area, we need to draw the other ear. So about right here, let's bring it up. Go right there and come down. So I'm just kind of imagine if this other ear were, were up, we want to imagine it about the same width as this ear. So say about right there, I'm going to stop and draw some holly berries. So in this area right here, I'm going to go ahead and just say about right here, I'll start with three circles stacked together and some leaves. So let's say about right here, I'm going to go ahead And here, I'm just gonna fill up this space. That way I don't have to draw too much of the ear and same thing here. There, and then whatever space you have left and same thing here as well. There. Okay, so now that we have that in, we can finally draw the body. So let's draw her little winter outfit. We're going to come, say about right here, we're the underneath the eye. I'm just going to draw a curve first. Same thing on the other side so I can center everything. About right there. And then we're going to come back to the center and come. So this is our center. Come over and come over. I'm just going to give myself two points. From there, we need to draw her little uh, coat that she's wearing. So it's going to come about right here. We're going to just draw a bunch of curves coming down. And we're going to curve out about right here and we're going to pass. Imagine this is coming down over her shoulders. So we're going to pass it, draw a big curve and come back, loop it and go back up. So same thing over here. So we're just going to, so if you're not comfortable drawing all these curves, you can definitely use your pencil and just draw a nice curve straight and then come back in. So you have something to follow, but I'm going to come right here. Just draw a bunch of curves. We're going to pass that line once again and come back in and thicken everything up and connect and whatever space you have left, just go ahead and connect there. And then let's come back about right here. We're going to draw a soft curve for her dress. And it's about the same level. Let's go ahead. We're going to connect it once again with a bunch of curves. So these curves are going to kind of go at a curve. <laughs> go all the way back up. So we're just creating this nice curve coming down. Then let's go ahead once again, just like this. We're going to thicken it up. It's going to be much thicker here for the dress. And once again, go all the way across. And connect. They're nice and fluffy, right? And warm for winter. So find your center. So say about right here. I'm going to draw a straight little line. We're going to start the legs. So about right here. Just going to draw a curve down and connect. So same thing here, curve and connect there. And then just for some details, you can come in here and just draw a bunch of curves again. 
and connect for her little outfit and then her hands we're just going to pop them out right here nice and simple straw curve and tuck it in curve and tuck it in and then in the center we can draw some detail uh we create a little heart right here and circle and then maybe another heart just to change it up to make this my draw so cute uh, winter christmas my melody i really hope you love how this turned out and i helped you draw her fun and easy today and if i did please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos see you later